Hi guys, this is Cindy Leach, your Polymer Clay Tutor, and in today's studio tip, I'm going to show you how 10 minutes is not long enough to properly bake your polymer clay, no matter what you see on the net. Now this is a perfect example of bad advice I've seen on the web. I've seen it in YouTube, in Yahoo Answers, in tutorials, and in forums where people are giving advice to bake polymer clay for 10 to 15 minutes. And I'm just going to show you how bad that advice really is. Now I've got some strips of polymer clay here. It's Primo and they are from the same batch of clay so you know it's the same. And I bake, they're both baked already. I rolled them out to about a five playing card thickness, which is about two millimeters thick. Now I put, th put them in my oven and baked them at, and I made sure that the temperature was holding between 265 and 275. And the best way to do that is to use an oven thermometer like this. Um, so after 10 minutes, I pulled this piece out first and I had pre-marked these and mark them with um, a little letter stamp or number stamp. To, this one is ten, has a 10 on it and this one has a 60. I pulled, after 10 minutes of baking, I pulled this one out of the oven. Then I left it in, this other strip in, in for 60 minutes. Now, um, I used a timer to make sure that I was controlling all of that as well. Now, let me just show you, they both look pretty much identical. Um, there is a slight darkness, uh, the 60 is slightly darker than the 10 and I mean you, the camera may not even pick up on it but I can see just a slight difference in darkness and a slight sheen difference. The 60 is slightly shinier than the 10 but other than that they look pretty much identical. They both seem cured. Now let me show you the difference in how strong they are. Now with the 10 here I'm just going to bend it and you can see how simple and easy that was to break. Now with the 60, I'll do the same thing. I'll, I'll bend it and I don't think I'll be able to break it. I'll try. See this? See the difference there in how strong that is? Now that's going to make a huge difference in the quality of your polymer clay projects. Um, if you have thin earrings, for example, um, with a hole in it that you might be worried about it breaking or a small sculpted piece with little arms and things on it, baking it for the full 60 minutes is going to make an enormous difference in your quality. So I hope that was helpful for you. If it was, make sure to give us a big thumbs up um, and like this uh, video. If you have any problems of your own that you're having trouble with and you'd like some help with it in a video like this, I just make sure to leave your comment and I will see what I can do to help you with that. So I hope you like that and I will see you next time. Bye for now.